Hello, everyone. Almost got to unmute my mic. Hi, Hoshiro. Pipes on. Paul. Juna. Cosmic. Red. Casty. Tenchi. Hongwa Kenneth. Chinese Ninja. Omni. Bali. Onyx. Jin. Jin, this is your artwork on the screen. Thank you so much if it is. I love it. I told you I like the eyes a lot. It's interesting to see myself with upturned eyes. Also, Samia, Reki. First time seeing you, I think. Is the is the sound okay? <laughs> Plangus, Plangus is my last brain cell. <laughs> Plangus reminds me of my last brain cell. Tuna, Tuna. Yay! Your art. Thank you so much. I love it. Oh yes, as you can see, I have... I'm holding a Fai Chun today. Fai Chun is this um, decoration you put on the wall for Chinese... I mean, Lunar New Year. So... I have this set up so that I can write something. I can write something for you guys right away on the spot. So you can if you if you have anything you want me to write, let me know. I can do English too. I think this was Old Pie Dragon's idea. Sounds good, thank you. Long Ma Ding San Sunny and Fai Law Gong Hei Fa Choi Joe Gan Yu. <laughs> How draw if hand hold? Are you holding are you holding your waifu's hand? <laughs> Little hands. <laughs> oh <laughs> I see, I see, I see. I don't know, with artist magic. With a little bit a sprinkling of magic, anything can be done. <laughs> Suddenly it's Harry Potter. <laughs> the law. <laughs> the law it thickens. How many red pockets did you get? Uh about two. <laughs> Grand total of two. <laughs> How many did you guys get? And also, happy Valentine's Day and Cheng Yan Zi Fai Law for those in Asia or Hong Kong or wherever else is ahead of us. I'm gonna move the mic a little bit. Hope that's not too loud. The moving. Do you guys have Valentine's Day plans? It's tomorrow for us. We'll do something special. <laughs> With my feet, exactly. It's my my new talent. Okay, so today this is part two of our artwork series. So last time we did this self shading. Hope you guys remember. Something from from class. We went from black colors, then step by step, to a finished cell shading piece. And today we're gonna take this cell shaded artwork and then turn it into painting. And I'm not gonna lie. Painting just takes time. 
<laughs> takes a little more time, but I want to show you guys the first few steps you want to take to start turning your artwork into a painting, into a painterly cell. And it's, it's, I think some, some people might be under the impression that Pain, painting painterly style equals is, is always better, right? But I don't, I don't think so. And it takes more time. And some people might still prefer cell shading, and it's your choice. Like up to, it's down to whether you enjoy. The style yourself or you enjoy the process of painting that's how you <laughs> that's the deciding factor on whether or not you should take it to the next step and turn it into a painting hello krita Thank you. Happy, happy Valentine's Day to you too. Soon, tomorrow, tomorrow, we'll do something. Hello, golf. Hello, Naeshiro Neko. Valentine plans us sleeping in. Oh yeah, Plankus, I think on Discord you mentioned your home homeschool. How do you meet people? Do you go out to clubs and stuff? And I, I mean, not, not the uns 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 kind of clubs, but like um, hobbies, taking classes and stuff. Jamlington Harry Potter crossover confirmed. <laughs> meet meet you at. I'm trying to come up with a was a funny. <laughs> with a funny pun for Hogwarts and failing miserably. Got 13 apparently. That's a pretty, pretty good haul. Thirteen's not, not a lucky number though. <laughs> um, okay. What am I doing? Okay, so I only did the face here, so ignore the body. And we're gonna start from this again. We can put the painted version over here. Just as reference. So, first huge, 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 huge step is you have to overcome the mental barrier. The mental hurdle of combining all your layers. Guys, it's okay. Everything will be okay. You can combine your layers. You you won't die. I promise you. So what I do, what I did when I first started to try and get used to the step was I would save a copy of my cell shaded version so you always know you can you can always go back to it you're not gonna lose this progress yeah if you don't like how the painting is looking you can start over it's okay <laughs> アメリカで。うん、今日は。バレンタイン。バレンタインステイじゃないです。ではありません。まだです。明日<笑> 
chocolate. Um, how do you say gift <laughs> with with tainé? Because <laughs> I know. Choco o okurimasu. Because <laughs> I think age, ageru is not tainy. Because when you say you're gonna give something to someone, it's like a senior giving some something to a junior. Apparently. And okay, there's too many comments. I need to just paint. <laughs> okay. So what I do is I take the file, I hold down Alt, and then I move it up. That creates another copy of the folder, and I just press Control E to combine the entire folder. That's how you do it. So, what to do from here? Let me let me look at my notes. <laughs> so, the first thing you want to do is to diminish the appearance of lines. I've already talked about a lot of this stuff in in my previous painterly practice video, but since I think we have some new people watching the cell shading one, it would be nice to have a series for, for those newcomers. Oh, also we're very close to... We're quite close to hitting 2000. Ageru, ageru apparently is not very polite. At least you cannot say it to your boss. Joel's and Homa Derek. Send me file on to my. Ping Yanzi file on. Ping Yanzi. Yao me gao. I remember Panda Derek is full of us. He's had multiple girlfriends. <laughs> it, it would be interesting to hear. Um, any Valentine's Day stories you guys have? If you guys wanna just leave it on Discord. can all read it and maybe talk about it tomorrow. Giri choko wo agemasu. Minna ni. Okay. Let's work on the eyes first. So for the eyes, I will... I actually think you can probably achieve a painterly looking style with layers, but it would just be a huge headache and it would be... I recommend combining all layers because it makes things very easy to fix actually to to your surprise might be to your surprise um and I understand people are afraid of combining color, um combining layers because they want to be able to undo their mistake by deleting some layers but there's nothing you can't fix without i mean there's nothing you can't fix with liquify and select tool and painting over things so even if you're scared you should give it a go 
you will find it's actually a lot easier to fix your mistakes with everything in one layer and it might might have been different for traditional art because you would have to physically paint over every mistake but with digital you have tools such as liquify i feel like half of this video is going to me be me <laughs> hyping you guys up and <laughs> how hyping you guys up to just combine your layers for eyes it's really nice to do thick paint style because you can have a lot of variation and and textures within the eye and you're not bound by layers and you can just go over for the eyes i just like to rough up these shapes these shapes are very clean and simple just just rough them up i like to have the light in this sort of u shape because your pupil is always going to be dark because it's a hole so the space around it should be where the colors are and this top part stays dark because the eyelid is obstructing some light oh i should probably Just have a before layer. So you can I can easily switch to show you guys. Oh yes, um I think I told everyone in Hypesan's stream chat that I went through a pretty horrific horrifically eventful weekend. So I mentioned Miso was sick before, right? Well, his situation, his condition turned from bad. He was already recovering from it, but then it came back. March came in like a lion. And then it came back as something even worse and scarier. So we had to um, get him fixed up over the weekend. So I wasn't able to do much preparation for this eventful week. Like for Chinese New Year and Valentine's Day, haven't done much prep because <laughs> been taking care of me so. And as you can see, I added some saturated light in here to just bring more life. You can just color pick the eye color and then bring bring the saturation up. Simple stuff. So yeah, um, he is doing better now. Thankfully. Chat is going quite fast now. <laughs> Hello, Kumi. Commit seppuku. What is kiri? Kiri? Giri? Giri, please. 
Kitty Choco. D Derek. <laughs> Too true. D D even even outside of the YouTube scene. So to prevent his sickness thing from happening again, we have to put him on a new diet. And it's been a real struggle because he is very particular about his food. So basically I have to... I have to be like... A 5 star Michelin chef. <laughs> And do this teppanyaki shit in front of him. That's... That's... <laughs> then he will eat. So I will take the food. I take the food. And I... S and I put it on this high... Like this upside down bowl. So it's easier for him to eat. He doesn't have to crouch down. Put the food on here. I mush it. Mush it around, add water to it, and he's like, here, and I have to take a spoon, and I have to keep mushing the food around as he's eating to make this into, into 4D experience for him, so he'll actually eat. I have to do teppanyaki for him. <laughs> Every meal. Well, actually, I soon realized it's just because he's a grazer. So he doesn't like to eat a lot in one go. So he'll leave the food and then later come back to it when he's desperately hungry. For the eyes, I like to put this thin line. I feel like it makes the eyes look more moisturized. Moisturized eyeballs. And for, for the highlight, I like, as you can see here, I like to do a cluster. So you just pick this color and then just do several dots. This is not very commonly seen in cell shaded artwork, so makes things more, look more painted. And I think I like having so much variation inside the eyeball because the eyeball to me is like kind of a pool of water. And you know how when water ripples, there's reflections going on and then it creates a bunch of irregular, interesting shapes. I like, I like it when the eyes look like the surface of a pond or something. And another thing I like to do is to outline the highlights. So you see the highlight here. I like to pick a more saturated color and then outline this shape. And then Kind of blend it a bit. I need my 97 layers. <laughs> I, actu I actually probably create a lot of new layers, but I combine them as I go. So I probably will also end up creating about 100 layers. But I get rid of them as I go. You know, it would be interesting to do an experiment right now. I want to see how blending works. 
when your layers are combined versus when they're not combined. Okay, so I have this color here. And then I create a new. And then put this color on top. These are two separate layers. What happens when I blend it? So, looks like this. What if I do it on the same layer? Is it going to blend differently? I wonder. Actually, I think there is a difference. You guys see the difference in color? This blended mid-tone versus this. Okay, it's very slight difference. Very slight difference. But the one where I combined the layers, it the mid the middle blended color, it's closer to Closer to, um, it's a more even average of the darker and lighter color. So I think it actually affects blending. Whereas this is when the layers are separate and then you blend, it's like it just takes this color, this lighter color, and then spread it out it's not taking the darker color from underneath and blending it into this color it's just taking the lighter color and then spreading it out whereas this it's actually mixing the two colors together so i i think that's why combining layers makes a difference you can blend more easily the colors blend better when you use uh, your smudge tool as a quick experiment new, fi new finding even for me so rather take some risks and be willing to try because you can always fix it yes believe in yourself it's a real upside for digital art i guess we love working on one layer yeah one layer gang I, I will say if you are doing a scenery with characters, I would keep the characters separate. Because that would actually be difficult to fix. So, we did the eyes. Let's do the hair. the hair, I just want to get rid of these really dark lines. I just realized I don't have water. <laughs> Dehydrated more. Now that Valentine's Day is just around the corner and with um, the recent VTuber news happening it really makes me question um, really makes me questions question Whether or not Whether or not 
Hmm, how do I wear this? It makes me question... Um... What type of... VTuber I am? Like, I'd like to believe... The way I am, I... I shouldn't attract... People like gachis. I think for the hair, I just want to turn it into bands of color. You see a dark band here, and then a light band here, and then a dark band again. In most lighting situations, it's going to be the same formula. Dark, light, and then dark, and then light again at the tip. Who was digging a grave? Hello, Beaver! Hello, Meeks! Oh, Miso's recovering alright. He is. He's actually... Actually bouncing off the walls. Right now. And... I... I've been feeling really bad because when I first got him, I wanted to give him the best, obviously. So I researched a bunch of really high quality food, foods and wanted to feed that to him. But then we found out he had an allergy. The chicken allergy. So then the vet prescribed a sensitive skin dry food for him, which does not contain poultry, which he is allergic to. Wait, I got distracted by the headband. Hold on. <laughs> um, and then I just started feeding him this prescription food, prescription dry food without thinking much about it because doctor's orders, right? But then that turned him into a double addict. And by the time I felt like it was okay to experiment with other foods again, um, he would not accept any anything other than dry food. And back then he would chase out other cat pickles and make her really stressed if he's not happy with the food, so admittedly I I kind of gave up on Um, putting him on good quality food. <laughs> but I will do better from now on. Now, after this incident, he is accepting wet food again, so... Going to give him the best of the best.
Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Now that he's accepting the lifts again. And for these highlights, it looks really good when you add a rim of more saturated color around it. I am not sure the theory behind this, but it looks good. I don't know if you guys notice a difference. With the little bit of color, it looks more interesting. Ora Yusuke san! Konnichiwa! どういうこと<笑>こんにちは。<笑> Is that a shortened version of こんにちは。はずみみです。こんにちは。Oh no, poor thing. I hope you're doing okay. I'm okay. A little bit frazzled, but we we are things are returning to normal. He's Bouncing off the walls, so that's good. You know, I um, went home with pain medicine, gave it to him with great difficulty, <laughs> and then he just got even more, more energetic. He's he's kind of a monster. This one. But he calmed down just in time for stream. So, getting rid of most of these lines. Oh yeah, by the way, this this painting version I did just before stream scrambled to do it just before stream, so this really is fast. You can do this under an hour. If you don't get distracted like I um apparently. So after you establish the bands of color. Now you can add some add some lines back to it. Like this. I like to add 
I like to make the... Sometimes I like to make... The rim of a shadow darker than the inside. Kind of like this. When did I make a new like oh I see. <laughs> so I just combined it. Combining as I go. And we can try the lips for well, painterly, you can you have a lot more room to play with the colouring of the lips. Like you can add lip colour if you like that. And then I like to paint over the the mouth line to make everything soft. Just lightly blend blend it with the skin color. This is something that would be difficult to do with cell shading. I feel like. And for blush, just take the base blush color and make it a little bit darker. Just slap, slap some blobs onto her face and then blend it with a smudge tool. So this smudge tool I have is from Kyle's Concept Brushes All-Purpose Blend. Kyle is um, the guy who does all the Adobe brushes, so you can find those for free if you have Photoshop. If not, I'm sure you can find similar blenders. Just slap it on. Slap and blend. And if you think it's too dark, then take some of that skin tone again and then Paint over it lightly. Push and pull. Now that already looks more painterly. Hello, Ethan and Vittery. Welcome in. Drink water, yes. I need to grab some. <laughs> Hello, Reva. Hello, Crumbs. Hello, random guy man. Thank you. Thank you, Reva. Happy to see you too. Thinking behind the eyes reminds me of Anmi. What's Anmi? Terminator lines. <laughs> Hello, Hilly. I actually used to think that eyeballs were liquid or gelatinous and you couldn't touch them never ever. Well, they are kind of gelatinous. <laughs> Except there's a film, right? But inside, it must be jelly, right? Inside the eyeball. Inside here must be something gelatinous. You know, in Hong Kong cuisine, we have a lot of steamed fish. 
and they steam the fish in its entirety with the eyes and everything intact. No organs though. Those are bitten. And we will eat the fish eye. It's actually my favorite part of the fish. And it's, it, when it comes out, it's like this white ball with a bunch of gelatinous stuff attached to it. I think that's the eye white. I'm not sure what the white ball is though. I don't think that's the eye white. I think that's some 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 other part of the eye. How about the unfocused? Does that work? Hello for Vichonis. What is what is the unfocus? It can be really difficult when it comes to the conditions of your pets. Unfortunately, lost one last year due to not knowing the dietary problems <laughs> before it was too late. That's really that's really sad. But I I believe that you you tried your best to give them the best you you know, I think most pet owners, they set out to give their pets the best, but sometimes it's just difficult to know what's wrong. Mixer brush picks up color on layer, that's why. I don't know, I don't use mixer brush. <laughs> I'm archaic. When it comes to many things. Seeing paint makes me want to paint too. Go do it! I teach you how to do it. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And also... Nice seeing you. I don't know how to read your name. A-L-K-T-Y. A-Chan. Or A-Kun. I don't know. Recent events causing Tabby to introspect. Yes. What do you guys think? Am I am I problematic in any way? Do I need to change anything? Do I need to <laughs> Do I need a friend zone you guys harder? Or like <laughs> I'll friend zone you guys collectively tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'm not not that kind of YouTuber, but you never know. One thing I do want to do is age up myself for 2.0. I feel like I look too young right now. Just, yeah. Just so you guys know, it's something... Something... That I'm planning. What was I working on? The blush. And right here where the sun is hitting the nose, I can make this rim a little bit more saturated. For the lips, you can even do a little tiny dot highlight. Thank you. 
Not sure why I listen to Tabby streams like a podcast. <laughs> Is that enough content? Tabby doing some Jung? Jungian? What's that? Active imagination to ask her unconscious what kind of VTuber she is. <laughs> I need a crystal ball. Miso's just like me for real, for real. Like, teppanyaki every day. <laughs> Food snob. Like me with Doritos. Hello, Shampoo! Welcome in. He's sniffing socks and taking showers somewhere else now. Oh, showers? Do they like showers? Ah, <sighs> yes. Chi wo kaki wasureta. Naruhodo. Yeah, sorry for your loss, Meeks. You guys will meet again. Sheep's eyes is a British delicacy. <laughs> this is why people think British food is awful. <laughs> it's... what do you call it? Nosh. <laughs> I feel like nosh sounds gross. <laughs> so I call it nosh. Yeah. I think the more saturated colors around highlights are because Light is absorbed and re-emitted by the material like we often see with skin. Whoa! Is this kind of like subsurface scattering? This sounds very big brain. Thank you, Kumi, for the information. Re-emission is in a more saturated color. Kumi is in physics, right? <laughs> in art theory. Someone's in physics. Someone was going in physics. If it looks good, it looks good. Exactly. That is something to remember. Don't get too serious. Art is entertainment. But it's, it's interesting to know the theory around it. When, when someone, when something's correct, it tends to look good. There are exceptions and you just know, need to know when to break the rule. Now, we can try, let me clean up that eyebrow. She needs a, a little plucking. And the eyebrow showing underneath the fringe. Maybe we can do some clothing. So we can do the headdress. Like to just lighten the appearance of these outlines by going over it with a lighter color. Going over with the color of the object itself, like the inside color, <laughs> or erasing. I feel like um, variety is very important when it comes to painting. Just switch things up. If you wanna, like, say, I'm trying to diminish, diminish the appearance of these lines, right? And I can do it just by erasing the outside. I can do it by just doing that, but if I change it up and use other methods it the final result usually comes out looking more interesting i think painting a lot of it is about creating visual interest and if 
you stick to one method, you tend to get very similar results and no surprises, which makes some, which makes a painting less interesting to look at, possibly maybe. So we'll just switch things up. Right now, I am adding shadows. So this is a headband that is bunched up in the center. So I'm taking a slightly darker shade that is slightly cool toned and then drawing lines and shapes that follow this direction so it shows it's bunching in the center and like I just mentioned we should switch things up so I'm going to switch up the color and choose a sat more saturated and lighter color and then go over it. Kind of like this. So now you have a variety of colors within your shadows. For white, um, clothing and items, it always looks good when you add a little bit of blue or cyan to it. Unless it's a very specific lighting situation. before it's all same color shadows okay but a little bit boring now you got more interesting shadows going on fried fish eyes what kind of cuisine is that I'm home at last, time to learn. Ooh! Welcome home. <laughs> You're too wholesome to worry about that. You aren't afraid to bonk folks. Thank you, I'm glad. <laughs> Going for the wholesome. No need for that type of <laughs> Valentine's violence. Oh, thank you. Thank you for confirming I am wholesome. Tabby embrace age. <laughs> why did it why did this suddenly become age talk? Oh, I see, I see, because I wanna age up my avatar. Yes, I wanna be Ara Ara. Like when you're painting, you have to turn on that randomizer in your brain. That's why having solid um, foundation is important because then you have a bunch of tools at your dispense you can switch things up easily practice basics which we will do more of i was thinking of talking about knees <laughs> which is a really odd thing 
to focus on for drawing. But I feel like it's not talked about enough. Those knees. And it's something I want to practice for myself too. How to draw nice knees. And I'll show you why one layer is so convenient, because now I want to move this eye. So I can just select the area. And then hold down Control alt And then use your arrow keys. And you move the eye. Easy as that. Before or after. Whereas if you have a bunch of layers, you have to move the line art and then move the flats and then move the shadows. It's impossible. Impossible, especially if you have a hundred layers. And for this shadow, I just want to blend it a bit. Maybe we can try clothing. Just um, take the darkest color and then... I think you have to really understand how to draw folds before you paint folds. The general idea is... Um... general idea is the folds all gather at the same point like um i guess pick a point in the arm either the outside of the elbow or the inside of the elbow you guys see either around here or around here pick either one and draw lines going towards that point that's a good starting point I think, but we can get deeper into it and, and once we do a clothing video. Again, this is all about variation. Pick the shadow color and then make it slightly darker. Then draw shadows within shadows. <laughs> It's impossible for someone to teach you how to draw something in every situation. So remember guys, observe real life. Can't rely on tutorials without observing your surroundings as you go about life. That, that's like... 
That's like half the work. Sorry. Again, window. Just keep drawing. Just like Dory, I'd say. So right now this is the underside of the apron, so <clears throat> I want to give it a shadow, but for white materials, because um, there's going to be light showing through, the light can penetrate um, white materials quite easily, so you can make the shadow not super dark. Even here, you can just make it a grayish blue. Because there's going to be some light passing through it. For Luna New Year, we had steak. We went to a steakhouse because we thought that all the Chinese restaurants would be busy. So we went to a steakhouse, but the, the Chinese restaurant right next to the steakhouse was actually quite empty. Maybe everyone had the same idea. I can't really eat a large amount of beef, so I got some sea bass. Oh yeah, no one's no one's re requesting any Fai Chuns. Embrace age. I am not too afraid of aging. I just want to time skip and become a grandma. The Terminator line is the band of color between the shadow and light source. It's more or less caused by subsurface scattering, i.e. light penetrating and translucent material and diffusing. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. This is this is exactly the definition of what I was doing. The Terminator line, guys. Thank you, Casty. This is the Terminator line. Sounds kind of cool. Knowledgeable moles helping me out. I was kind of right, I think, then. I think so, yeah. Hello, Kitsukong. Pretty. Too bad I have class. Oh no, next time. See you at the FOD. Shout out to Kitsukon. FOD, FOD gang. Shout out to FOD, FOD gang. Maybe leave a comment if you're VOD gang. It's also visible on non-translucent materials, but in that case, it's due to the light source not being able to wrap around curved surfaces. Okay. <laughs> My last brain cell said, okay. Very good, now that we have Tabby. Oh, you guys, so sweet. British food ends begins and ends with pudding. <laughs> you know, British pudding, aka dessert, is really good. Like, I wish you, I wish people would try it. <laughs> try the desserts, not focus on the nasty, savory food. 
Although I think a lot of the savory foods are good. Yeah, I studied in the UK. Everyone, all of the boarders hated the food. Except me. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's my problem or... <laughs> I'm not sure if that dis discredits all of my opinions on food. <laughs> but I like British food. Something wrong with me? I don't know. Um, but I was talking about British desserts, aka pudding. My favorite is this thing called treacle cake, which is like a um, yellow sponge cake. Yellow sponge cake with a swirl of something delicious <laughs> with a swell of probably golden syrup if i were to guess something with golden syrup inside swelled why am i getting a phone call right now with the swell of treacle and then topped with hot custard. That's the best part. Hot custard. Just, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll draw it this way. Just in an imagine it's in a pool of custard. It's my favorite, favorite dessert. One of my favorites. There's also a chocolate version with chocolate custard, which is good. I'm getting really hungry now. Um, but um, I used to eat it in a really weird way. I would mix the, chop up the cake and then mix it into the custard so it becomes a massive goop. Just a pile of goop. And then I would eat that. <laughs> Do you guys have strange ways of eating food? I know I know this is a thing. This must be a thing. Like I used to. This is really embarrassing actually. <laughs> I used to pretend to be a cat. When I drink milk, I would put it in a bowl and I would I would lap it up. When I was a kid, okay. May or may not have a little bit of that ism. Who knows? When there are things I am doing and you want, want to understand how, how to do it. Just replay that part of video and try it on your own. That's what I used to do with um, Willop's videos. Art God Willop. <laughs> So I'm also thinking about how 
this pleating is working. So this is one pleat, second pleat, and then maybe I want to have a little bump here. Even though it's not a full pleat. Just have that curve there. So here, I'm holding the apron up. So this part is probably going to see some light. This plane is kind of like this. So there should be some little bit of light here where the fabric is being lifted. Not here, because there's a cast shadow. Which I will also outline with a darker color. Just because it looks good. No other reason. I don't know if it makes sense in terms of physics. But that's okay. Because it looks interesting. Can't wait for Middle-life crisis tabs. <laughs> really, really weird how our body knows where to put the things like this. You mean... <laughs> with drawing or like biologically having eyebrows? Variance is why the more impressionist styles are always interesting. Yeah, um, makes you get lost in the painting because because your brain is like your brain cannot predict my next move. <laughs> your brain cannot predict the the painting's next move, so it's like I must look at every corner to understand to record all of the all of the variations because you're not um, applying the same treatment to every area of the painting so every corner you look there's a surprise that's why I like impressionism too I don't even know what's going on here, but don't need to sweat the details too much. Actually, you can tell this piece is the front of the apron. And from this angle, it's gonna be in this shape. So it makes sense. Knees are some of the hardest things to render well. Yes, it always looks... It can very easily look awkward on anime. It's not so much I want to render knees really realistic on an anime figure, but I want myself and everyone to understand um, the anatomy how to draw it, like the placement of the lines. You know, a lot of times you see beginner artists will draw knees like this. But that's not how knees work. And I want to figure out how it should look with you guys. 
Stay tuned. Smash that like and subscribe. <laughs> and stay tuned for knees. Exciting. And I'm just get getting rid of this dark line because it doesn't make sense for the line to be dark right here because the light's hitting. Something like that. And then here it can be dark because this is like a billowy sleeve. A little bit puffy, so can describe that puffy form a little bit. I'm just not good enough of a teacher to really accurately explain everything, like how everything works, but I can show you guys. You guys can try it on your own least. I like to draw these pin, hairpin shaped lines for faults. It just looks good. I'm sure there's a theory behind it. <laughs> Because this is being lifted, there must be a bunch of bolts going on here. This, this, the hand is gathering the material, so do that. Yay! Knees can be pretty though. When it's done well, it's wow. It's like. It's like. When it's done well, it's like. Something that takes a good painting to a masterpiece, right? Because when. You can tell someone's a real master when when they master something somewhat trivial. Like knees. That means that means they must have already they must have gone to the point where all the focal points, like the face and everything, they're like I'm done with that. I've mastered that. Already, so... I have gone to the stage where I'm thinking about knees. That means they don't even have to think about faces very much. What else? I 
I like what I did here. That's big. With the light, maybe I can think about connecting the shapes. Because I've drawn the shadow already, this can help me determine how to draw the highlights. So there's this dip going on here, so we can maybe do that. Very, very concise explanation. I think for clothing, it's a lot. A lot of it is about the flow. Does it fit the flow of the material? I don't think there should be any light in here. Not too much. Little more shadow back here. I'm just adding, not really adding full on shadows, but more variation in the fabric. Just to show different planes. Like very subtle change, change, change in planes is what these really subtle shapes are describing and that's why it makes a difference I guess so it's like you're thinking about shapes that are subtle like like angles that are subtle like this rather than this. I'm not sure why in the reference her other side of the dress is showing, but I remember it's in the reference. We'll keep it. <laughs> it looks kind of nice having that contrast. We barely see those knees. They really need to be talked about more. Yeah, can't wait. Long Majing's no imi wa. Nani desu ka? Nan. Long Majing san no imi wa. Ryu to uma no yon ni. No yon, no yon ni. Genki ni. Shite imas. Ryu to uma ga. It's more. つよくて元気そうな生き物ですからリュウとウマ行動に元気になりましょうの意味です So long matching my Faichun Long is dragon Ma is horse Tsingsen is Genki So I think it means I hope you will be as Genki as a dragon or a horse 
because they are very energetic and fierce animals, right? Fund these with Tabby. Maybe we can think think about that. I'm gonna make some hot chocolate and add a tiny marshmallow as a treat. That's that sounds so good right now. I didn't I haven't had marshmallow in a long time, but I did get candy floss at the steakhouse. Which I did not eat. <laughs> Candy floss is not so much about the taste. It's more about the mouth feel, isn't it? Right now, I'm just adding another loop. I'm adding what I think is missing pieces for the ribbon. So the apron's tied in the back. Maybe I was thinking it would be nice to add another ribbon to show that it's supposed to be a bow. Artistic license, not in the reference. And we have for ribbons. Tip, quick tip for drawing ribbons. You can do red. Make sure you don't have a wide top but skinny legs. This is a very common thing. Might work in anime, but it doesn't really make sense because a ribbon is usually made from a ribbon. How many times can I say ribbon in under a minute? Usually made from a piece of ribbon. That's the same width throughout. And when you tie it, it's gonna look like this. Same width here, same width here, about, and for shading, you can just do this. This is the loop, this loop of fabric, this is a tangent. This part is like just a loop of fabric and then you tie it down the middle. You tie it here. <laughs> so it's gonna squish this. Squish it in and then be like this and when you squish When you squish a band like this, it's going to it's going to have a wrinkle here. But yeah, this skinny leg ribbon is one 
big thing you want to watch out for. And also for the legs, you can shape them the same way. Like this. And you have a bow. I would make this center part wider. That would look nicer. Simple as that. I love the time skip to retirement. What's everyone's... What are everyone's retirement plans? Live and fought gang. Brown food's good. Very, very... Very helpful. I like the full English. Full English is good. I like Yorkshire pudding. That's my... Favorite savory British food component. That dessert sounds so good. It's so good. With hot custard, it's perfect for this weather. Before you remembered, you were more. What? <laughs> experience and experience maxing. What does that mean? Experience maxing. Is it like? Getting several experience experiences out of one experience, like eating the same food many ways for variety, because I definitely do that. Yes, some fabric would be gathering here too. But but because it's facing the light, it wouldn't be as shadowy, I imagine. Art is imagination. But it's more like I imagine from my experience of viewing the world. Show how the hands are working. Maybe index finger can be like this. That kind of looks good. It's very ladylike for once. I notice when I'm doing painting, I never really stay on the same area until I finish it. I'm always jumping around. What name? My G. What is your G? Wolof is goated. He mastered metallic materials. All oh, metallic materials. That would be a great challenge for us. One of those days. One of, one of these days. I saw your JSS carnation. Lily rose version and laughed when I noticed that you added a cat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> John Singer Sergeant Goated <laughs> Yeah, everything's better <laughs> Well, I can't really say better, but 
Everything's more fun with a cat, right? Smash the motherfucking like button. Too early. Needs needs add character for sure. That's a nice greeting quote. Belated Luna New Year. Yeah. My plan is to be happy. Confident strokes used for explaining the ribbon. <laughs> It's like doing everything you can as fast as possible. Getting real hungry now. Isn't it bedtime for you, Hypesan? Getting so many experiences in a short time. Oh, I see. Oh. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> then eat something. Nihon de yumei na snack wa anime no Doraemon ni dete kuru dorayaki desu. Oh! Dorayaki wo yoku shite masu yo. Dorayaki wa pancake kutatsu. You guys have any questions? I'm pretty much done with the. Is everything I want to say about painting? Pancake tatsu. So stay. Anko. Ora Yusuke san wa. Doraemon ha. Sore domo. Shin no suke ha. Desu ka? <laughs> and then, sandwiched. Hasante. Dorayaki. Ni narimasu. Doraemon no daikobutsu It's so nice to watch a stream that's just so chill Are there not other chill streams out there? Painted version of food always looks tasty. You mean Ghibli versions of food? Always, look, always looks tasty. As always, I I do a better job off stream, <laughs> side by side comparison. But I explained everything. My thought process. For well, this one, it will be difficult to make Photoshop file tutorial because the, there's no solid step by step. It's more like oh, you have to wait enter specific mode of thinking, specific way of thinking. Oh, um, one thing, one last thing is I will make, make a screen layer, use a light, whatever light color, usually a warm color, and then 
Oh, lower the opacity by a lot. Set it to 12 for now, and then... Oh, actually, with a hard brush. Maybe a little higher. Okay, maybe a little higher. <laughs> Add a little more light to this side of the face. Like this. And then, same thing for shadow. Shadow has to be very light, especially for these flat anime faces. Very subtle. Multiply layer. Then go from the nose. See? Now you kind of see some planes happening in the f otherwise flat anime face. I probably wanna lighten this up a bit. Turn it up a little more. No, no, wrong. Turn up. So it looks like that. I want this to be very subtle, like, this is too harsh. Before and after. Before, looking flat. After, so starting to see some planes in that face. Combine that, and then blend it, maybe. <laughs> blend as needed. Add core shadow as needed. Maybe for the nose bridge. That's the only sharp feature on anime faces. It's optional. I don't want to soften this a bit. Should we do ending doodle or ending emote, guys? I think time is quite tight. Maybe. Maybe it's okay. Ending emotes or ending doodle? Five tabbies on screen. Doraemon ga suki desu. Crayon shin-chan wa motomoto wa otona? I don't know how to say that. Otona muke no manga desu. Naruhodo. So desu ne. Ippai. What is it called? Something neta?
I forgot how to say dirty joke. Dirty joke in Japanese. Shinchan de Ipai Ipai no something neta. Ah, de de kimas. Kodomo. Kodomo no koro. Watashi. その <laughs> Other streams on chill is this. Ah, interesting. Maybe everyone can recommend some other chill streamers. I'm sure there are some out there. Toroyaki, very good. They're hard to get here in the US. I love the Atsuki villain. Oh, um, maybe you can just make two pancakes and then buy some atsuki online. And tada, you have dorayaki. Could this style still be used? Hold on. Dividing everything between layers, my brain normally works more segmented. I would highly recommend you try combining your layers. I, I imagine it would be very headache inducing, but maybe that's just the way my brain works, but a lot of these techniques require blending and as um, we, um, our previous experiment um, presents. There is a difference in blending when the layers are not combined. The colors don't really mix as well. You know, it would be better to do something with... to try this with... To try this again with contrasting colors. So let's take a green and a red on two separate layers. And on the bottom, it will be green and red on the same layer. Let's see how it blends. So, separate layers. Why is it doing this? Hmm? Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Oh, this all the way then. What do you guys think? Does it make a difference? I feel like Photoshop is definitely taking... Like putting more of the other color into here. But yeah, Omni, I know this might be uncomfortable to combine layers, but give it another shot. But yeah, if if you if you're more comfortable with layers, it I feel like it definitely can be done. But it'll just be very difficult to edit 
placement of features, like facial, facial features, if you want to move them, you would have to move a ton of layers. Unless you draw the eye in one layer, like the entirety of the eye in a couple layers, then it's fine. But I remember in the beginning, I was really cautious and real weary of combining layers too, and eventually I figured out how to do it. Figured out how to be comfortable doing that. Eight tabbies if you count the fan art. Oh no. <laughs> I'm multiplying. I'm like Monkey King. Ending emote. Cool. Which emote? Reminds me of Reno Tuna Rend. Oh, that's interesting. That's a very high compliment. Hello, Melo. Welcome in. Shimo neta. Naruhodo. Feel like Chinese New Year doodle though. Tabby asking for red pocket. Okay, let's do both. Gain. Hong Mao Derek Domando. Dim Hoyim Wapla. Hong Mao Dai Dai. Derek Dai Dai. Taking notes? Are you guys sure? Because this is going to be on Discord. All my lessons are happening on YouTube, so I feel like... On Discord, maybe less opportunity to use... Study. Oh, didn't do any fighting writing today. That's okay. You know what? I'm gonna do one. <laughs> or should I write? Fighting. I even found a special brush for it. Somewhere. <laughs> I seem to have lost it. <laughs> I appear to have lost the brush I prepared. Ah, yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's do the ending doodle request from Derek Dai Dai. Tabby asking for red pocket. Yeah, you guys really lost the opportunity of making me write cursed things. Hold on. Just need to make sure... Maybe I should do the emote first. So then we need time to test it together. And I feel like time might be tight. Emote. 
emote, 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 emote. Choto a moment. Please choto a moment. I need to go bathroom. Where is it? <laughs> I remember struggling to find my file last time. Here we are again. <laughs> Some cat is... One of the cats is roaming. I'll grab a few more minutes of sleep. Yeah, please go. Sleep. Thanks for the super chill stream. Wonderful art as always. Thank you, thank you. Good work and have a great day. Tabi since you fell most. Good night, hype -san. Get some well-deserved rest. I am not Dai Dai. <laughs> You're a big boss. -y. Happy take notes. be so funny if we could fit a brain in here. I'm not sure if it'll read, but we can try. Oh yeah, um, saw Mia released Canto cover for... Shit, I don't know the song title. And the brain, brain's gonna be like... Watchy brain. Time is tight because I have to attend our neighborhood pug Galentine event. <laughs> we have a lot of dog owners in the area. I do not have a dog, but I am involved. <laughs> I'm involved in the dog community because I can't stop being a creep and stalking all, all the cute dogs in our neighborhood. So I became integrated into the dog owner community without owning a dog. Because I wouldn't stop petting all the dogs in the park. How about this? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, measles, measles. I left some plastic bags on the ground for measles to play with. He's walking all over them. Blending in digital environment is pain. Hello, Churono. How cute. I think blending in traditional environment is pain. <laughs> I don't like getting my fingers dirty or having to wash brushes. Un saluto desde Publica Dominicana. Hello! Oops. <laughs> Hello, welcome in. Un saluto to Yang Filpo. Welcome in, welcome in. Yarashikute otona poi no jodan. Wonder if that description could work. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I'm trying to say, but there's a term for it. It's silly mole, big brain, yes. <laughs> okay. I normally keep pieces in separate folders so I can move pieces around. What? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Ah, Naruhodo. You see, with my organization skills, all the pieces would not be in. The designated folders. Just make duplicates of the layer from time to time to serve as backup. Yes, yes, that's a great point. That's exactly what I do. Double duel. <laughs> Hello, uh, Tex. Hello, Chewy. I like the first. The first. The first what? <laughs> The first what? That is the question. Okay. I'm not sure if I should color this whole thing. Maybe. Okay. Thank you. 
But it's, what is it? Brain shape? How can I make this more brain shaped? I guess the, the color will be enough. We'll see if this how this reads. Look at that face. The cogs are really turning. Circle, come on. You can do it. <laughs> Help! Come on. Okay, that's decent. I'll take that. It'll be funny if... To have a tally <laughs> of how many times you attempt single stroke. Noggin. Okie dokie. Color, color, color. Hayaku. Okay. Brown. Eh? Are they? No. Use this same shade of pink. Consistency seek. Then green eyes for the botchy brain. <gasps> Use the neuron activation monkey's expression. What? <laughs> I unfortunately don't speak Cantonese, but you remember the DLLM. <laughs> Little mouth. Go fast. Gotta go fast. Okay. 
blush blush very important and then maybe like a, something like this like a clip clipboard wooden clipboard or color pencil like the classic mustard there's a lot of colors going on is that okay? I think I might lessen the colors in the brain Green chin. Maybe just <laughs> maybe like a dark grey. Be less distracting. Amazing. <laughs> holding brain Maybe this one. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna work. Maybe I can turn it into just a regular brain. Maybe that will read better. But we can try this. I don't know how I feel about the brain. Maybe it's just too much going on. Let's try it anyway. I feel like a regular brain is not, not that nice to look at. Alright. Do I do... What's this? Get rid of that. New one to eight pixels. One to eight pixels. And then, oh, 
a little broken here. Oh, Pickles is hungry. Pickles hungry, she crying. Doopy think. You guys hear her? Sing, Tabby sink. You like the first. No. She's a munchkin domestic mix. Poor, poor Paggle. We shall feed her well afterwards. Heading to Discord now, get ready. Yeah, she's her saying hello. She's very hungry. Because we're trying to switch up the foods. She has skipped a meal or two here and there. It's always a struggle transitioning cats to new food. But it's for the better. Server settings. Poor pickles. Um. It's ready. Good noggin. Very good. So big as outside the head. <laughs> Maybe I want to make the notepad darker. <laughs> I like the vibes. Okay, now Miso's going crazy. So let me check. We have time. Okay, maybe super quick. Tabby asking for red pocket. No, no color. Just draw. Why are they both going crazy at the same time? Okay, if, if they start chasing other, it's gonna be hard stop. Now Miso's crying. Pickles is playing. This is this is this is praying hands. Pretend this is <laughs> pretend this looks like hands.
お母さんお父さんProbably a, I don't know, cheese fact, cheesecake factory coupon. Oh no, the chasing is beginning. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you for watching, guys. It was fun hanging out with you. As always, half a cent, huh? Okay. Inside here is half a cent. <laughs> cent. Where's the other half? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Remember to smash that motherfucking like and subscribe button for good luck. Year of the Dragoon. And for knee tutorial. I will see you again tomorrow for Valentine's Day extravaganza, whatever it may be. <laughs> Thank you for watching. All to everyone. All to pickles and miso for being hungry. <laughs> I'll be out!